Hey, this is Nielsen Dynasty. This is Gandalf. That's Dixie. Gandalf says hello. Gandalf says hello. Hello, Gandalf. I'm a wizard. I was in The Hobbit, the movie. You remember seeing me? Gandalf the Grey. I am Gandalf the Grey. Oh, there's a spot for you. You like that spot? Huh? There's a spot you like. Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, this isn't about me scratching my cat. Ha! Ah, yeah, it is. <laughs> Fooled you. All right, have a good night. Uh, like, share, subscribe, buy silver, platinum, be kind, helpful, grateful. This, you know, I don't bring you silver and, and, and gold crap because everyone's doing that. And I'm, I'm, I have nothing to add to what they they already say. So there's no reason for me to do that type of shit. So I bring you other shit. Here it is. This was recorded a powerful collision and it's on the surface of Mars. The impact of a 200 ton meteoroid smashing into the planet resulted in debris being hurled for more than 30 kilometers. Researchers uh, say it was the biggest event of its kind ever documented as it actually took place. Emma McCarthy reports. Another mystery of the red planet has been revealed. The inside lander space probe witnessed a big impact crater being formed on Mars. The impact was so violent, it dug up huge chunks of buried ice. Most exciting of all, we saw clearly in the high resolution images that a whole lot of water ice had been exposed by this impact. You can see in this flyover video of the 3D data, boulder sized chunks of ice in the crater's ejecta, as well as splotches of ice thrown across the landscape outside the crater. This was surprising because this is the warmest spot on Mars, the closest to the equator we've ever seen water ice. NASA says this is a crucial discovery as humans prepare to visit the red planet. This is really an exciting result. Um, we know, of course, that there's water ice near the poles on Mars, uh, but in planning for future human exploration of Mars, we would want to land the astronauts as near to the equator as possible, and having access to ice at these lower we'll latitudes, come out. Um, that, that, water, that ice could be converted into water, oxygen, or hydrogen. That could be really useful. Researchers calculate. Uh, I lied. I totally fucking lied. This is a little bit about platinum. If they want to turn that ice into hydrogen, they're going to need platinum. The falling space rock was about the size of a van. It dug out a 150 meter wide bowl, hurling debris in all directions for more than 30 kilometers. The all right, as you see, I'm probably going to sit down here and uh, watch some SmackDown with Tick, my outdoor kitty cat, and my other outdoor kitty cat. is in his cave way back there for some reason he likes that area he was under here i have this area here but you know little cave little cave system for him so they can get to but you know. i was able to hand capture two baby kitty cats today out of six that are around i was able to capture two of them by hand and uh, put them in a spay neuter adopt program. So uh, they are being taken care of and will be adopted out. And hopefully I'll be able to get the other four and uh, catch their mom. Uh, she's the last breeding female in this neighborhood. And uh, the cat issue will be taken care of for a little while. Uh, Tick says hello. Ain't that right, Tick? Yeah, hello, he's that me hello. And Dixie says she's hungry. Life is good. Have a good evening.